Okay, so now I want to explain to you how you get something like this together, which is a smart, ob smart object. Now I went into Google and I put in smart object, what did I put in? Smart object magazine layout. I have the first link, top 32 free magazine mock-up templates. And there's loads of them. Mm, goodbye. You know, ones like this with the pages folded back. Um, this type of thing. That's not bad. I kind of thought, yeah, the cover's a little bit sort of a hidden there. Here's one with the page as if it's half turning. A square one. It's kind of, you know, there's, there's so many. And the majority of them are free. Now, I do think smart objects are a good idea some in some instances. I also think students should learn how to print, trim, mock up in real life, the real world, their, their magazines or any item, that they, if it's packaging or something like that. Because there's nothing like actually seeing with your two hands and holding something in a position like where you would hold a magazine and actually reading that article before you send it off to print. Um, so you should all do that. But what this is fantastic for, these smart objects are great. Let's say you're working on a project, a book cover or a, like a magazine or a poster or something like that, or a billboard. And sometimes it's difficult for clients to imagine what that might look like in the real world. Um, you're not going to be able to, with a magazine it would be easy enough because a magazine isn't huge you could print out a mock-up and they could hold it and read it something like a book cover you know if if you're doing a range of well, let's say 10 different books and you thought well look I'll make these mock-ups and then they can imagine what it might look like on the shop shelf um so it's it's not bad for that um and it's not bad if you're under pressure for time you may not have enough time to actually trim and mount and make a whole load of mock-ups for a client so it's not bad in that situation so I downloaded I went to one here made for designers and this is free make sure it says that's look license free to use both commercial or personal and I clicked on download and what it gave me was this file okay and you can see here on the right hand side of loads and loads of layers so some of this stuff I don't know, can you see on the right that turning on and off? Let's just move that over a little bit. Okay, layers, where are we? Gradient. Um, sorry, up here. These are all gradients in the background. You don't need to worry about any of these. Let's close them up. Um, this kind of stuff. What you want is, this folder is for the magazine information. So you might need to do a little bit of rooting around in folders to find stuff. And what you need is this layer here. And see this little icon here? That's showing you that it's a smart object layer, okay? So they've called this five right, so it's the fifth page and it's a right-hand page. So I want my magazine page to go in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double-click on that. Now it's saying, after editing the contents, choose file and save to commit the changes. And they'll be reflected in the mock-up. Okay, that sounds good to me. Let's click OK. Text layers might need to be updated. Okay, fine. So... This is our, this is the content that you saw there, okay? Now again, in here, you'll have to do a little bit of digging around. We've got layers here for shadows and highlights. So this is our content layer. And actually you can see, here's all the content. You know, if I turn all these off, okay, and that as well. Okay, um, what we want is our magazine in there. So I'm gonna go to File, Open, let's find Ours was in a folder called iMag for printers. Here we go. Let's go for the final i single single pages and click open. Any minute now. Okay. So just as this is opening, when you open a PDF file in Photoshop, it's going to give you a few options. So here you can see I can open as many, what amount of pages do I want? Um we want page three for now. So let's just open page, no, let's open them all. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the first one. If I want to select them all, I'll hold down shift and select all three pages. Now, this is kind of important. You want to go to media box. Okay, see the way, look at the images as they change, bounding box. What bounding box does is it crops it to the edge of the information. But we know from our design that we've got white space margins and everything. So we want it to be media box. 
Okay. Now mode. RGB? No. CMYK? Yes. 300 pixels per inch. Um, let's check the centimeters. 23.7 by 29.7. Perfect. Um, let's go OK. Now, the only issue we might run into is these are 23.7 by 29.7. They're particular size. I can guarantee that's not. It looks much closer. It's not A4. It looks kind of skinnier and wider. So, you know, our, we might have trouble getting our page to fit. But we give it a go. Where is our page? This one. If I go up to Select All, Edit, Copy. Let's go in here. Edit, Paste. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Why is that doing that? <laughs> ah, I know why because it's got a transparent background. Let's put a, a layer in and we will go edit fill and we will go background color or white. Let's fill it with white. Okay. And let's drag it down here. So that looks more like our page. Okay. If I go up to select, um, okay, select all. And what we want to do is go edit, copy merged. Okay, so that will copy both layers together. Let's go back in here, go edit, paste. Hmm, why is that acting the maggot? Edit, where are we? Edit, copy merged. Let's turn that off. Ah, oh, it's too big. Um, so I just went to edit, transform, scale. Okay, so our, our document is tiny. Okay, let's just scale this down to fit. It's not going to be perfect because the proportions aren't going to be exactly right. But it will certainly give us somewhat of an idea. Okay, this is much longer and skinnier. Okay. Um, this is why making your own mock-ups and actually photographing them and we have equipment in the college to do that is much better um, but as I said in emergency situations this is not bad so you might root around maybe this is not the best example of which template to use have a look around I downloaded one try out a few and see which one works the best but just to demonstrate how it works I'm gonna hit enter and let's go file save okay yeah, let's click back in here and look see our magazine content is now stuck in there and it doesn't look too I know it's all wide up here but it's okay let's get our other page in here so if I double click in there and we go okay keep layers okay let's open our content okay let's turn all of this off and let's get our page in here no that page okay now we remembered we need to put a white background in if I click here new layer edit fill fill it with white and let's get this on top select all edit copy merged not there yeah, where is it hmm is that it nope that's it there. Okay, let's paste it in here. Um, okay, so edit, paste. Okay, so it's huge. If I scale it down, I can even turn these on, transform controls, and let's scale it. Okay, so that's the right width. So you can see, yeah, there's a lot of theirs, there's a lot narrower. Hmm, so I have to make a decision. Let's leave it like that. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Okay, let's save that. I just hit Command and S there. Magazine mock up. Okay, that's not bad. Now I might decide to do something like what's here? This one. No. Okay. You know, I don't want that in there because it doesn't look very Chanel-esque. So let's open 
Um, I don't know. Let's open that. And just copy in that. Paste it in there. I'm just making this up. Let's save it. And yeah, so it looks a bit more in keeping with the rest of this. There's a little tiny trim there. You can see. So that's not bad. It shows us our what our magazine spread would look like opened out. Um, what they also have is, so that's the magazine. Um, the other thing they have is a layer here that I turned off. <coughs> off. Excuse me. <coughs> so you can see they have like a background layer here. By default they have a set of this kind of pink colour. I can go in here and um, let's just make it something else so you, you know, can decide to change that to whatever I want. I just turned it off and underneath they have a background pattern that's just the grey colour and I kind of like that better. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, okay, so that was our magazine. Then we have, let's turn this, you can save that out then. I can go to file, save as, you know, or I can just leave it like that. Um, so I've got that all ready to go. Let's turn the magazine layer off and here they have the layer with the cover information. Same thing applies. Here we have our cover and this layer here is our front cover. Okay, and then content. So let's turn all of these off. Where's my cover? There we go. If we go select all, <clears throat> we don't need our white background here. Copy. Um, what am I looking for? Here, paste. Okay, too big. Let's scale now. This is where we might run into trouble because proportionately it doesn't really fit into their design. Hmm. I have to make a decision what to do, what to do. Hmm. Okay, let's just bring it over a little bit like that. I'm going to use the eyedropper. If I hit I, there it is, it brings me to it. Let's get this yellowy colour. I'm going to go to the marquee tool and go edit, fill, foreground. Okay, it's not perfect. You can see a little line there, but you know, I'll leave it for now and we'll save it. And let's go up to our magazine mock up. So here's our front cover. Now we haven't got a back cover designed. Um, let's just make one up here. Cover, back cover. Okay, content. Um, no, here it is. Photo. Let's get a Chanel photo and put it in there. Mm, mm, let's open one here. That one. Okay. Oops. Okay. Hmm. That's not bad. Let's get our earring in, maybe. No. Let's just put it there. I don't know. This could be a photo of Paris or something like that. Let's save that. And let's go back. Oops. Magazine mock up. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, you're going to design your own back cover, but just for argument's sake, that's not bad. I'm just hitting the tab button here, and you can see that is not the worst. Um, so I would save that then. You can then take these two, um, these two designs and put them on an A2 sheet, brand new A2 sheet, and print them out for your portfolio. And that's basically smart objects. So look around the internet. I just picked one of the first ones that I saw it's worth you know finding one that fits into the size of iMagazine a little bit better but yeah they're very simple and you know quite easy to use